March 26, 2020. For the first time, we are all here together on the same boat. As sailors in the storm, our duty is to stay focused, united, and strong as a team. We have to look back in our history as humankind, and we have to focus on our future and plan our next civilization. Since the dawn of time, each pandemic has led to major changes in our societies and our political system. This not only includes radical questioning of our entire system, but redefines our value, our individual and collective relationships. With the situation we're in today, we are questioning the role of our administration. We're questioning how authorities leaders and our financial system manage this crisis. We will point out their incapacity to save us, to implement adapted policies, or even to give meaning to our death. We are revolted and upset by the chaos and the mismanagement. Unfortunately, there is a chance that some political regime will be overturned and replaced by hatred and violence. Hopefully, this dark period will give birth to a new political model. It all depends on us. On the other hand, we have to glimpse other lessons of our crisis. We must take the path of our profound desire to live, to rebirth, to strive for a better future, to fulfill harmony between us and respect our environment, our planet, to rediscover the meaning of our lives, to enjoy our existence and our time on Earth. During this pandemic, confined at home, we must search a new legitimacy of authority. We have to redefine a new social paradigm, not based on manipulation, nor power, nor lies, and much less on money. New leaders must embody humility, empathy, and wisdom and not being a psychopath surrounded by lobbyists. We, the people, should adopt new human value. We, the people, should redefine what it is to be a citizen of the future, to empower individual and collective responsiveness. Ethic and responsibility should take another meaning in our heart and our society. Let's be inspired by the romantic movements. Economical sectors will have to be redefined with aim to serve the people, increase social well-being, and strengthen common good. Healthy life, conviviality, food, education, and ecology should finally regain their rightful place. We should strive to stop overconsumption. We should come back to our basic human value. We should make the best use of our time, our life, on our planet. I remind you, in the darkness of this universe, our Earth is a paradise. Today, our objective as humankind is to make this transition as smooth as possible, avoiding collapse. The sooner we implement this strategy, the faster we will emerge from this pandemic and the economical crisis that will follow. Solidarity and responsibility are our tools to go through this hard time.